Hi, welcome to another tutorial on my YouTube channel ID Data Concept. Today I will be showing you how to edit a PDF material using a popular software called Corridor. If you are into graphic design, it is very likely that you use one of the graphic design softwares that is very popular and I'm talking about Corridor. It is now important for you to know that Corridor can actually be used to edit your graphic to design graphics from the scratch but i'm gonna show you another use of corridor today it is possible that you do not know that corridor can be used to edit pdf materials so in this tutorial i will show you how to edit an already done pdf book using corridor it is very simple without further ado let us go straight into the video to edit any PDF material on CorelDRAW, the first thing for you to do is to open up your CorelDRAW software and as you can see here, I've already opened my CorelDRAW software. I'm using version 2018 and I've created a new page called Untitled 2. If I like, I may assign a name to my page and if I like, I might leave it like this for now to edit later. So what I'm just going to do is to import my PDF material and what I'm going to do is to come up here and select this arrow you can see now. The moment I point to the arrow with my cursor, it shows the name of the arrow, import. So I'm just going to click on it right away and here I have a list of PDF material so I'm going to select this particular one read me if you want to advertise better that is the title of this um pdf you want to advertise better on linkedin so i click on it then i select import and immediately i select import the software is going to read the information of the pdf material and as we can see here it shows that this pdf material has 16 pages so if you like to edit these whole system pages you can just go ahead and select it but because this is a tutorial and i don't want to really take your time i would like to just select few pages from the book because the higher the volume of the book you are editing the longer the time you are going to spend on it so i would like to just select five pages so i am selecting pages one to five and there is a very important setting you need to take notice of here we have a uh, import mode so you are going to select import as text don't choose import as curve if you choose import as curve it is going to convert all the texts in your pdf material to cover and you will not be able to convert them back to text again on corridor except you close this panel and you import it again so we want to import our text as text not as code and then another thing that is important for you to notice is that you keep this box checked it says import comment and place on a separate layer you don't want all your comments uh, to be dumped in just a layer so that you will be sorting them out one by one later so let us just go ahead and click ok to get started then another dialog box is gonna be pop up and this is the dialog box the issue here is that some of the fonts that has been used in the pdf material we are trying to import are not actually existing for now on the system so we have this particular font here missing on the system so the system is suggesting that this font will be substituted with this I mean the missing font will be substituted with this font and then we can just give the system a permission to go ahead and do so then another thing is substitution method use the panels suggested match so make this substitution temporary or permanent so I'm going to choose temporary maintain original font when saving file so you want to choose this option you can go ahead but 
because I don't just want to distort the face of the PDF material so I choose to make the substitution a temporary substitution so you just click on OK and then you wait for the PDF material to import you can see this processing box here it is going to fully load and after it is fully loaded it's going to bring your PDF material in so let us just give it a few seconds for it to fully load our PDF book by the way if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please can do so and as you can see now I have this um this pop-up and it is actually asking me to enter to center to press enter to center the material on page or press spacebar to use the original position so I'm gonna use the enter key to import the material so I click on enter key now and as I click on enter key it's gonna position my PDF material on the center of the page on corridor you can see that this is actually centered correctly by corridor and then the other time when we we're about to make our import we imported pages one to five you can see we have first page second page third page fourth page and fifth page but if you observed something you would discover that the size of the Canva I selected is not the size of the PDF they are slightly different from each other the size of the Canva I selected that is the workspace I created on corridor is 2480 pixels by 3508 pixels but if you check the size of the PDF I imported it has 2550 by 3300 pixel size so what am I going to do to match the size of the workspace with the size of the PDF I can just come here to layout but before then please let us note the size of our pdf material first it is 2500 by 3300 so you just come to layout and you click on page setup 2500 okay so you just change this one 2500 by 3300 so you select okay and as you can see now the size of our canva is the same size of our pdf oh sorry it seems i made a little mistake this is 2550 let us get change it 2550 i actually didn't write it down the other time so change this one to five and then select okay so by doing that we will have adjusted the size of the first page we have done so for the first page and what i'm just going to do now is to go ahead and apply the change in other pages So we have successfully adjusted the size of our pages and make sure that they align with the size of the PDF book we imported. So what I would like to do first of all in editing this PDF material is to change the topic of the book and immediately I click on the imported material you can see that it is kind of difficult for me to really select a particular element i want to select this title for example but immediately i click upon the title the whole page is selected this is basically because all elements on this pages have been grouped together i'm just gonna go ahead and ungroup them so you click on this guy here ungroup all objects and after clicking on it you click on an empty space around so um by clicking on this particular title now you can see that the title has been selected and we can see the font that was substituted the other time the name of the font is area and the font face is 24 so i will just go ahead and change the title now by clicking on the text tool 
okay so we are just gonna go ahead and edit this title now i'm gonna change this particular readme to read this so you select this side then you put t h i s read this if you want to advertise better on linkedin so that is the new title i want to use for this particular book or let us change this linkedin to another thing okay let's change it to pinterest b i n t e r e s t all right so and probably we are going to change this guy also here to pinterest oh okay it seems this guy here has been converted to curve let me show you what we have on if we have selected import as curve like it was displayed on the screen the other time this is what i mean showing on the screen now so if we click on import as curve immediately you select a text like this you will not be able to edit the text directly you can see now this particular object has been converted to curve already and you see convert to curve this option is no longer available to select because this object has been converted to curve so what i'm just going to do is to create another object and put the one i want to be there and select interest all right so change the font phase i want to make this bold a little bit okay so area black let me use area black and uh, try to drag it here it's like the size is not aligned yet so let me let me change the size a little bit and okay it seems you cannot see it now because i have used color black let me change the color to color white okay so um it's a little bit bigger let's change the size again we may not actually do know the exact font that they used except we begin to look for a font that matches the face totally so i'm not just gonna waste your time i'm gonna leave it like this so let me remove this guy here and um, hold this one there i'm gonna select it and hold on the control button then click on okay sorry i'm gonna select this guy and hold down the shift button and click this icon then i'm gonna click on c okay or rather if we don't want to do it like that if you want to do it the way it was before click on e it's going to place it in front but mind you this is not a pinterest icon this is linkedin icon but as it were right now i don't have pinterest icon so i'm going to leave it the way it is you know this is a tutorial I'm not not that i want to publish this book this is not my book this is not a book i'm intended to publish so what do we want to do again okay let us try and change this line into something thicker and then change the color let's see if color red we go okay and also i want to change this box to color red so i've been able to change it to color red so yeah so i think i'm done with page one then move to page two and let me try and zoom it in a little bit so that we can see the content of the page so here again you can see that immediately i click on this page uh, the whole page was selected i click on this title rather the whole page was selected so what i'm just going to do again is to click on this guy on group all of it click on it then click on the blank part of the page then let's zoom in a little bit further read me if you want to advertise better on linkedin you know we are working with pinterest right now so 
I click on this text body. I want to change this LinkedIn to Pinterest. So I'm just gonna delete this one here. Then enter sorry Pinterest. And there it is. You can be sure that when you check through the page, it's possible you see anything written about LinkedIn again. But again, because this is a tutorial, I'm not just gonna change everything here. I want to show you another thing actually that you might not know is possible. You can decide to delete this particular picture and import your own custom picture. But when you are importing your picture, make sure it is aligned to the page. So what I'm gonna do again is to import picture a new picture so let me just see if i can get a new picture so i have some pictures here okay let me go to background and then pick a picture so i'm gonna select this particular picture here even though it is not related with our material so i want to put it here first and you can see that this is a branded picture i want to remove the branded part and let me serve a note to you if you want to use any picture for your design for your commercial design every picture you see online has a copyright license some are permitted to be used and reused privately for um for your personal use and some will give you the permission to use it publicly and commercially so please and please ensure that you check the license first and make sure that you really have the license to use it publicly and to use it commercially in case you'll be selling your material so that being said i'm going to convert this picture from colored to gray scale so you come to bitmap after selecting the picture then you come to mode select gray scale so i've converted it to Scale. you can see it is no longer a colored picture enlarge it a little bit then move it here there is an issue with my picture but i'm still gonna use it the way it appears this is a jpg picture this is not the png picture you can see that the background is still reflecting so what i'm going to do now is to just delete this picture here and click on my picture hold on the shift button then click on this my object here so i'm gonna click on c center to center my picture with the object here but i'm not satisfied yet with the position so what i'm just going to do is to move this picture until it gets to the center of my page there is another way we can know if it is exactly at the center but this that is not the focus of this particular tutorial right now so i'm just gonna leave it here and then move to another page so that is how you can actually change the pictures on your material you can decide to change the size of the existing ones there like this one now you can decide to enlarge it a little bit and i can decide to shrink this a little it. I can decide to duplicate whatever picture I have here to make it look different from what we used to have there before. I can decide to make this line a thicker line by changing the size, the thickness of a line and to make it a red line again. Then page 4, I can decide to you know just do any edits as you would like so i can decide to import a new shape and just do anything there let's know please so remove the outline of this then bring it right here let me try and change the face okay so put this right here just be creative with your material okay then you 
Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna put this one right here. You don't mind me. This is not really looking great. So just gonna center it. Put it in the center. Okay. Okay. Enlarge it a little bit. Let me change it to bold font. Okay. Bold now. And then I'm gonna change the color and it to color white thank you so that is it and then the last thing i will have to do is to export my file as pdf so i'm done doing the editing you can just go ahead and write your name on your material you are the one owning the material i'm not the one that created this material initially so i'm not going to put my name there and i'm not going to post it anywhere it is just going to remain on my system this is a tutorial remember so click on file and click on export all right so give it a name okay edited book i'm going to use edited book and then change the format here so you can see pdf here adobe portable document format a pdf so export don't click on this here export this page only if you click on it it is going to export only page one so you don't want to do that actually so do not show filter dialog you don't really need that except you want to really do justice to that so here you can see that there are two issues let us check what the issues are the document contains more fonts really there is nothing we want to do to that page one contains objects that fall outside the page i'm just gonna leave it as it is but what i would like to actually do is to make sure that we select page one to five if you click on current document it is still the same but i want to be double sure that it will export our pages one to five if you want to export just a certain selected pages from the book you can just click on okay you can just change it here so probably you want to export pages one to three no one you can do that but i want to export pages one to five then color you can decide to use cmyk color if you are printing this particular document you can choose this mode cmyk it is suitable for the printed materials so the quality of jpeg can leave it as it is prepress bleed limit this is especially for those who are into printing books so i'm not gonna print this so i'm just gonna leave it the way it is so these are the suggestions this is giving us in place of the errors but there is nothing that really concerns me with all this so you click on ok and your pdf is going to be exported so it is as simple as that so guys this is the book we just edited let me try and open it up to see what it looks like okay can you see read this if you want to advertise better on pinterest it still works as a pdf you can see it is showing properly this was the picture we imported can you see oh we didn't check this part there is an error here little error here but make sure you do well to check your contents before you export in case there is a part that is not doing too great okay you can see the our end page thank you so guys that is exactly how you can use correct draw to edit your pdf materials and actually i have tested this on correct draw version 13 and here i used correct draw version 18 thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you like this video kindly hit on the like button and if you have anything to say please i like you to comment on this particular video go to the comment section and drop your thoughts on this particular video and lastly please and please guys do not forget to subscribe to this channel i have a lot of content for you and i promise i will deliver value to you so please click on the subscribe button to 
have more videos like this delivered to you and remember to click on the notification bell so that you get notification whenever i post a new video thank you very much i will see you in another tutorial bye